Today we will be reading from the book of the prophet of Jeremiah, chapters 25 through chapter 29. I do want to say good morning, good morning, starting this podcast off with positivity. And we're going to start in prayer as well. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for this exact moment to be able to dive into your book and to study the Bible appropriately and diligently. So thank you, Father God. And may this reading be amazing. And yes, chapter 25, judgment on Judah and the nations. The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that was the first year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, the which Jeremiah the prophet spake unto all the people of Judah and to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, From the thirteenth year of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, even unto this day, That is the three and twentieth year, the word of the Lord hath come unto me, and I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but ye have not hearkened. The Lord sent unto me all his servants and prophets, rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened, nor inclined your ear to hear. They say, turn ye again, now every one from his evil way, and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord hath given unto you, and to your fathers for ever and ever. And go not after other gods to serve them, and to worship them, and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands, and I will do you no hurt. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, said the Lord, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own heart. Jeremiah foretells the 70 years captivity. Therefore, this said the Lord of hosts, because ye have not heard my words, behold, I will send and take all the families of the north, said the Lord. And Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will bring them against the land and against the inhabitants thereof and against all these nations round about and will utterly destroy them and make them an an astonishment. And an hissing and perpetual desolations. Moreover, I will take from them the voice of myrrh and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the sound of millstones and the light of the candle. And this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment. And these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. And it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon. And that nation said the Lord for their iniquity and the land of the Chaldeans and will make it perpetual desolations. And I will bring upon that land all my words which I have pronounced against it, even all that is written in this book which Jeremiah have prophesied against all the nations. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also, and I will recompass them according to their deeds and according to the works of their own hands. Mm. Verse 14. That was verse 14. Now we're starting at verse 15. The coming destruction of the nations. For this said the Lord God of Israel unto me, take the wine cup of this furry at my hand and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. And they shall drink and be moved and be mad because of the sword that I will send among them. 
Then took I the cup at the Lord's hand and made all the nations to drink unto whom the Lord has sent me. To wit, Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and the kings thereof and the princes thereof, to make them a desolation and astonishment and hissing and a curse, as it is this day. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and his servants, and his princes, and all his people, and all the mingled people, and all the kings of the land of Uz, and all the kings of the land of Philistines, and Eshekelon, and Azza, and Ekron, and the raiment of Ashdod, Edmon, and Moab, and the children of Ammon, and all the kings of Tyrus, and all the kings of Zidon, and all the kings of the isles which are beyond the sea, Dedan, and Tamar, and Buzz, and all that are in the utmost corners, and the kings of Arabia, and the kings of all. Verse 24. And all the kings of Arabia, and all the kings of the mingled people that dwell in the desert, and all the kings of Zimri, and all the kings of Alam, and the kings of Medes, and all the kings of the north, far and near one with another, and all the kingdoms of the world which are upon the face of the earth, and the king of Sheshach shall drink after them. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, This said the Lord of hosts of verse 27. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, This said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Drink ye and be drunken, and spew and fall and rise no more, because the sword which I will send among you, and it shall be, and they refuse to take the cup at thine hand to drink, and they shalt thou say unto them, This said the Lord of hosts, Ye shall certainly drink, for lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. And should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, said the Lord of hosts. Therefore prophesy thou against them all these words, and say unto them, The Lord roar. From my own high and utter his voice from his holy habitation, he shall mightily roar upon his inhabitation. He shall give a shout as they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord hath a controversy. With the nations, he will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, said the Lord. This said the Lord of hosts, behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation and great whirlwind shall raise up from the coast of the earth. And the slain of the Lord shall be at the day from one end of the earth, even into the other other end of the earth. They shall not be lamentated neither gathered nor buried they shall be dung upon the ground how ye shepherds and cry and wallow yourselves in the ashes ye principal of the flock for the days of your slaughter and your desperations are accomplished and ye shall fall like a pleasant vessel and the shepherds shall have no way to flee nor the principle of the flock to escape. Mm, that verse 35. Verse 36. A voice of the cry of the shepherds and an howling of the principle of the flock shall be heard. For the Lord hath spoiled their pasture. And the peaceable habitations are cut down because of the fierce anger of the Lord. He hath forsaken his convert. As the lions, for their land is desolate because of the fierceness of the oppressor and because of his fierce anger. Chapter 26 Jeremiah is arrested. In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, 
the son of Josiah, king of Judah, came his word, came this word from the Lord, saying, This said the Lord, Stand in the court of the Lord's house, and speak unto all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the Lord's house, all the words that I command thee to speak unto them. Diminish not a word. If so, be they will hearken and turn every man from his evil way, that I may repent me of the evil which I purpose to do unto them, because of the evil of their doings. And thou shalt say unto them, This said the Lord, If ye will not hearken to me to walk in my law, which I will which I have set before you, to hearken to the words of my servants, the prophets whom I sent unto you, both rising up early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened, then will I make this house like Shalah, and will make this city a curse to all the nations of the earth. Whoa. That is chapter 26, and I finished that off at verse 6. So we starting at 7. So the priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord. Now it came to pass when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking all that the Lord had commanded him to speak unto all the people, that the priests and the prophets and all the people took him, saying, Thou shalt surely die. Why hast thou prophesied in the name of the Lord, saying, This house shall be like Shalah, and this city shall be desolate without an inhabitant? Question. And all the people were gathered against Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. When the princes of Judah heard these things, then they came up from the king's house unto the house of the Lord and sat down in the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house. Then spake the priests and the prophets unto, unto the princes and to all the people, saying, This man is worthy to die, for he hath prophesied against this city, as ye have heard with your ears. Then spake Jeremiah unto all the princes and to all the people, saying, The Lord sent me to prophesy against this house and against this city all the words that ye have heard. Therefore now amend your ways and your doings and obey the voice of the Lord your God, and the Lord will repent him of the evil that he have pronounced against you. As for me, behold, I am in your hand. Do with me as seemeth good and meet unto you. <laughs> I follow you. Verse 15. <laughs> but ye. Start over. Verse 15. But know ye for certain that if ye put me to death, ye shall surely bring innocent blood upon yourselves and upon this city and upon the inhabitants thereof. For of a truth, the Lord hath sent me unto you to speak all these words in your ears. I thought they were speaking to the Lord, but now it seems like in verse 15 they aren't. So no, I'm not following them. I'm not following nobody. Verse 16, Jeremiah is acquitted. Then said the princes and all the people and to the priests and to the prophets, This man is not worthy to die, for he hath spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. Then rose up certain of the elders of the land and spake to all the assembly of the people, saying, Makai and Morsath, Morth, <laughs> oh, Makai, verse 18, Makai the Morthite prophesied in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and spake to all the people of Judah, saying, This said the Lord of hosts, Zion shall be plowed like a field, and Jerusalem shall be come heaps in the mountain of the house as the high places of a forest. Did Hezekiah, king of Judah, and all Judah put them at all to death? Did he not fear the Lord and besought the Lord, and the Lord repented him of the evil which he had pronounced against him? This might we procure great evil against our souls. 
And there was also a man that prophesied in the name of the Lord, Yerjah, the son of Shemai, of Kirjath, Jerem, who prophesies against this city and against this land, according to all the words of Jeremiah. And when Jehoiakim, the king with all his mighty men, and the princes heard his words, the king sought to put him to death. But when Yerja heard it, he was afraid and fled, went into Egypt. And Jehoiakim the king sent men into Egypt, namely Elathan the son of Achabor, and certain men with him into Egypt. And they fetched forth Yerja out of Egypt and brought him unto Jehoiakim the king, who slew him with the sword and cast his dead body into the graves of the common people. Nevertheless, the hand of Achim, the son of Shaphan, Shaphan, was with Jeremiah, that they should not give him into the hand of the people to put him to death. Chapter 27, the yoke of Babylon. In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, came this word unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, this said the Lord to me, Make thee bonds and yokes, and put them upon they, thy necks, and send them to the king of Edom, and to the king of Moab, and to the king of the Ammonites, and to the king of Tyrus, and to the king of Zidon, by the hand of the messengers, which come to Jerusalem and to Jedekiah, king of Judah, and command them to say unto their masters, This said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, This shall ye say unto your masters. I want to talk about that. <clears throat> Verse 5. I have made the earth, the man, and the beast that are upon the ground by my great power and by my outstretched arms, and have given it unto whom it seemed meet unto me. And now have I given all these lands into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and the beasts of the field have I given him also to serve him, and all nations shall serve him and his son and his son's sons until the very time of this land come. And then many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of him. And it shall come to pass that the nation and kingdom which will not serve the same Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and that will not put their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon, that nation will I punish, said the Lord, with the sword and with famine and with the pestilence until I have consumed them by his hand. Therefore hearken not ye to your prophets, nor to your diviners, nor to your dreamers, nor to your enchanters, nor to your sorcerers, which speak unto you, saying, you sh Ye shall not serve the king of Babylon, for they prophesy a lie unto you, to remove you from your land, that I should drive you out, and ye shall perish but the nations that bring their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, those will I let remain still in their own land, said the Lord, and they shall till it and dwell therein. I speak also to Zedekiah, king of Judah, according to all these words, saying, bring your necks under the yoke of the, of the king of Babylon and serve him and his people and live. Why will ye die? Thou and thy people by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, as the Lord has spoken against the nations that will not serve the king of Babylon, question, therefore hearken not unto the words of the prophets that speak unto you, saying, ye shall not serve the king of Babylon, for they prophesy a lie unto you, for I have not sent them, said the Lord, Yet they prophesy a lie in my name, that I might drive you out, that ye might perish, ye and the prophets that prophesy unto you. 
Verse 14, I was verse 14 and 15. Verse 16, also I spake to the priest and to all this people saying, this said the Lord, hearken not to the words of your prophets that prophesy unto you saying, behold, the vessels of the Lord's house shall now shortly be brought against from Babylon for they prophesy a lie unto you. Hearken not unto them. Serve the king of Babylon and live. Wherefore should the city be laid waste? Question. But if they be prophets and if the word of the Lord be with them, let them now make intercession to the Lord of hosts, that the vessels which are left in the house of the Lord and in the house of the king of Judah at Jerusalem go not to Babylon. For this said the Lord of the hosts concerning the deep pillars and concerning the sea and concerning the bases and concerning the residue of the vessels that remain in this city, which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon took not, where when he carried away captive Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, from Jerusalem to Babylon, and all the nobles of Judah and Jerusalem, ye this said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, concerning the vessels that remain in the house of the Lord, and in the house of the king of Judah and of Jerusalem, they shall be carried to Babylon, and there shall they be until the day that I visit them, said the Lord. Then will I bring them up and restore them to this place. Chapter 28. Henian prophesies falsely. And it came to pass the same year in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fourth year. And in the fifth month that Heniah, the son of Azar, the prophet, which was the Gebion, spoke unto, spake unto me in the house of the Lord. In the presence of the priest and of all the people, saying, This speaketh the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two full years will I bring again into this place all the vessels of the Lord's house that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place and carried them to Babylon. And I will bring again to this place Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, with all the captives of Judah that went into Babylon, said the Lord, for I, break, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah said unto the prophet Haniah in the presence of the priests and in the presence of all the people that stood in the house of the Lord, even the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. The Lord do so, the Lord perform thy words which thou hast prophesied to bring again the vessels of the Lord house and all that is carried away captive from Babylon into this place. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word, word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries and against great kings of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophets which prophesies of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent me. Hany and breaks Jeremiah's yoke. What does that mean? Yoke. I'm reading. As I'm reading, I, I just want to know what this that mean <laughs> um, then Hany and the prophet took the yoke from off the prophet Jeremiah's neck and break it and Hany and speak in the presence of all the people saying this said the Lord even so will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon from the neck of all nations within the space of two full years and the prophet Jeremiah went his way then the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the prophet. After that, Hanian the prophet had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Go and tell Hanian, saying, 
This said the Lord, Thou hast broken the yoke of wood, but thou shalt make for them yokes of iron. For this said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations. Whoa. Of iron on your neck? They like to rock gold, but imagine iron. For this said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Verse 14. For this said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all the all these nations that have they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him. And I have given him the beast of the field also. Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hanian the prophet, Hear now, Hanian, the Lord have not sent thee, but thou makest this people to trust in a lie. Therefore this said the Lord, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year thou shalt die, because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. So Hanian... The prophet died the same year in the seventh month. In the seventh month. Chapter 29. Jeremiah writes to the captives in Babylon. Now these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem. Unto the residue of the elders which were carried away captive, to the priests and to the prophets, and and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. After that, Jeconiah, the king, and the queen, and the eunuchs, the princes of Judah and Jerusalem, and the carpenters, and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem by the hand of Esela, the son of Shaphan, and Gemara, the son of Helica, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent unto Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saying, This said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, and to all that are carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon, Build ye houses and dwell in them, and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Take ye wives and beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, that they may bear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there and not diminished. That's good. That was verse 6. And seek the peace of the city, whither I have caused you to be carried away captive, and pray unto the Lord for it, for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. For this said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams. With ye cause to be dreamed, for they prophesy falsely unto you. In my name I have not sent them, said the Lord. For this said the Lord, that after seventy years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you, in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. And to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me. And ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all your heart. Verse 14. And I will be found of you, said the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, said the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Because ye have said the Lord have raised us 
up prophets in Babylon. Know that this said the Lord of the king that sitteth upon the throne of David and of all the people that dwelleth in this city and of your brethren that are not gone forth with you into captivity. This said the Lord host, behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine and the pestilence and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. They are so evil and I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine and with, and with the pestilence and will deliver them to be removed to all the king kingdoms of the earth and to be cursed of an astonishment and an hissing and a reproach among all the nations will I have driven them because they have not hearkened to my words, said the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants, the prophets rising up early and sending them, but ye would not hear, said the Lord. Hear ye therefore the word of the Lord of all ye captivity. Verse 20, I'll repeat. Hear ye therefore the word of the Lord, all ye of the captivity, whom I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. This said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, of Ahab, the son of Kaliah, and of Zedekiah, the son of Messiah, which prophesy a lie unto you in my name. Behold, I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall slay them before your eyes, and them shall be taken up a curse by all captivity of Judah, which are in Babylon, saying, The Lord make thee like Zedekiah and like Ahab, whom the king of Babylon roasted in the fire. Verse 23, because they have committed villainy in Israel and have committed adultery with their neighbor's wives and have spoken lying words in my name which I have con not con which I have not commanded them even I know I am a witness said the Lord the Lord is a witness and that was verse 23 and I'm going to repeat it because they have committed villainy in Israel and have committed adultery with their neighbors' wives and have spoken lying words in my name, which I have not commanded them. Even I know them, and I am a witness, said the Lord. Shemaiah writes a letter against Jeremiah. This shalt thou also speak to Shemaiah, the Nelamite, saying, This speaketh the Lord of hosts. The God of Israel saying, because thou hast sent letters in thy name unto all the people that are at Jerusalem and to Zephaniah, the son of Messiah, the priest and to all the priests saying, the Lord have made the priest in the stead of Jehadiah, the priest that ye should be officers in the house of the Lord for every man that is mad and make of himself a prophet that thou should have put him in prison and in the stocks. Now, therefore, why hast thou not reproved Jeremiah of Anathoth, Anathoth, which make himself a prophet to you? Question. For therefore he sent unto us in Babylon, saying, This captivity is long. Build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. Zephaniah, the priest, read this letter in the ears of Jeremiah, the prophet. Verse 30, Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Send to all them of the captivity, saying, This said the Lord concerning Shemaiah, the Nelamite, because that Shemaiah have had hath prophesied unto you and I sent him not and he caused you to trust in a lie therefore this said the Lord behold I will punish Shemaiah the Nelamite and his seed and he shall not have a man to dwell among this people neither shall he behold the good that I will do for my people said the Lord 
because he had taught rebellion against the Lord. And that is the ending of the reading for today. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus Christ, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Three things I learned in the reading was um, God is big on places, the setting. Something else, number two, that was mentioned that caught my attention was the yoke of iron around your neck. That seems like a heavy burden. And the third thing that I can mention that caught my attention, and there's many things, but just something else that I can touch on, uh, was, I'm going to say this, but I'm going to say something else. (laughs) Was someone prophesying a lie, dying in the seven months. And to me, I thought that was, what does the seventh month symbolize? Um, I think that's it. (laughs) This was a good reading. And I'm so honored to be able to read this word and just be able to use my voice for good. So have a good day, guys. Can't be everything to everybody. I wanna be your lover, your best friend, your Batman, Spider-Man, fight the pilot, shooting out your rivals and I wanna